Hey Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to your March 2022 career tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. So please use the energies that come out in this monthly tarot career reading for your sign as inspiration to help you manifest your most important goals, dreams, and aspirations for your career. Also check out the links in the description of the video where you'll find other exciting videos that are relevant to your sign. And this month what I'm doing is I'm diving in with this deck first to get the general energies and then I'm using a brand new oracle deck that's all about timings and we will also clarify that with additional tarot for you. All right, let's get into your reading. All right, Leos, let's see what's a poppin' for you with these energies this month for your career. All right, I've already shuffled quite a bit, so we'll just dive right in. Oh, five of wands and a three of cups. Okay, love it. Six of swords, queen of cups, and the lovers. Ooh, all right. Okay. All right, Leo, we have some um, we have some good news happening here for you. And I think it's happening in Pisces season. So Pisces season goes until March 20th. So we have the Three of Cups, Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups here. So we have the Five of Wands, which can mean a couple of different things. I think this can be, uh, depending on your situation, it can be some sort of competition with other people. So there could be a triumph over your competition, whoever that might be, however that applies to you. Um, and because there's that triumph, uh, you're going to be moving on, like you're cleaning up a problem with some sort of competitive advantage with the six of swords. So troubles are passing away mentally. You're feeling like, oh, thank gosh, that problem is now solved. That person's not, uh, you know, influencing me or a pain anymore. So this could be, you know, a coworker, this could be a competitor in your marketplace. This could be you triumphing and getting some sort of job offer, beating out the competition. Whichever way you look at it, this three of cups next to this is very, very good. Um, this could also be you winning some sort of competition that involves, uh, that may be related to the arts, uh, dance, music. Uh, creativity, personal self-expression, anything like that. It could also be you with a group of people who are triumphing over everybody else. That's possible as well. Um, the other way I'm looking at this energy, for me, the Five of Wands is also a kind of spinning your wheels type energy. It's like you're getting caught up in doing a lot of trivial things, like you have a to-do list like a mile long, but you're kind of all over the place. You're not making enough traction. So I feel like what this is saying to me is you'll be able to get a lot of things done on your to-do list uh, and that'll free up a lot of mental space. So you could really be, um, you know, having a significant success in doing that for yourself, like getting yourself organized, getting yourself uh, realizing what's important and what's really not. What can I let slide and what do I have to address, etc. So I think this is this is very good. But the other the caution here, I would say also, depending again on what's going on with you, is that you may escape some of these to do lists because you want to just go hang out. You know, you just don't feel like it. I don't blame you. <laughs> we all get like that. So I think if you want to experience the six of swords where things you feel finally at peace with whatever you have on your plate. It's time to address this issue, however it affects you as what I was just explaining. All right, now we have the Queen of Cups here, which is interesting. She's very, can be very moody, but also very intuitive. She can be very creative, but also sometimes caught up in daydreams. So again, what this is saying to me is it's time to put some good old fashioned passion into your creative pursuits. And it's time to amplify your emotional resonance with what's important to you right now with your career. And since the Gemini is showing up, it's likely to be related to writing, teaching, speaking, sales, networking, all of those types of things. So, uh, you know, emotionally, like what this is saying to me is really pour your heart and soul 
into your communications this month for your business, especially for your marketing. Um, you know, you, and again, depending on what's going on, you may be caught up in, if you have a, a, your own business and you're trying to market it, you could be caught up in a lot of busy work of, oh, I got to make an email funnel or, oh, I got to set up WooCommerce or, oh, I got to do whatever. And what's really needed is a change in your mental approach where your people, whoever your people are, your customers, they need to hear you and see you from the heart right now. They need that emotional resonance and connection with you, which is also this, not, you know, a complicated sales funnel. All right, you see what I'm saying? So whatever, whatever is going on for you here, it's, it's about clearing your plate, getting yourself organized, sorting through what's important and not important for you to be doing in your career and business right now and getting yourself back on track emotionally and emotionally aligned with what really matters. And notice it's the Gemini energy that's showing up in both places here. So what really matters is making that mental and emotional connection with your customers, your clients, your coworkers, whatever, and launching yourself wholeheartedly into what really matters, into some sort of passionate expression of your career energies, however that applies for you. All right, Leos, let's see what else we have going on for you. Let's pick a timing card. Leos, time to reflect. Okay, yes, I mean, that, that really fits with what we were talking about here in terms of what's really important for you to be focusing in on and what you need to really clean up uh, around you and get off your plate. So, you will need a little time to pause and reflect on that. So let's, let's see. And even if this is the situation where, you know, you're getting offered some new job because you're triumphing over a competitor, you will need a moment to kind of pause and reflect and regroup. Don't skip that step is what I'm feeling. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Okay. And the Page of Swords. Oh, wow. Five of Coins. Eight of Cups. And then the Hierophant. All right. So we absolutely have the energy of mental change that's going on here. Um, and we had that as well with the other energies we picked because mental and emotional shifts because of the Six of Swords. So we have you, notice all of these are charging into the future here. We have you getting some fast moving news coming in. Uh, a very, that brings about a change in your mental attitude and will require you to pause and reflect, as I said, because a new commitment's going to be involved for you. So you're going to be making some sort of new commitment, as I said over here, with this lover's card. So with the Gemini-related activities that I've already explained. So this fast-moving news, this change uh, of commitment, of direction, of focus is going to help you move out of some stuck energy with this five of coins and this eight of cups. So there is going to be an emotional shift for you. There could be a very positive shift with your finances out of a five of pentacles. Pentacles for me are also self-esteem. So there is something about this triumph over this situation over here, this five. Notice it's three fives in this reading, which fives can be about shifting energies. Not so much him, but the minor arcana. So this triumph over this shifting energy um, is going to help you shift out of some sort of stuck situation with perhaps with your finances. So if you've been getting, if you've been feeling a little down about, am I ever going to succeed with XYZ project, with manifesting my job, uh, manifesting more clients, more sales, I think you're going to see a very positive turnaround provided you get your act together with this situation, like I said over here, um, because you will be making a change of direction in your commitments. It's positive, I feel. Hierophants about commitments, about contracts. Um, so you will need a little time to reflect about how best you want to do that. But also, I would encourage you to not spin your wheels for too long, if that's what's going on for you with this five of wands. Take action, get yourself organized. The thing with Leo is that Leo, of course, is fixed energy. 
So as is Taurus and Scorpio and Aquarius. So it's something, and go, yeah, you're a fire sign. So you're naturally, you have passion, right? <laughs> but sometimes it takes Leo a little while to get going. Okay? <laughs> but once you get going, you're fine. So it's like that motivation. Like you, sometimes it takes a little bit to, to kind of like, to pounce like the lion you are, right? It takes a little bit to, to make that leap, but once you do, like you're fine. So use that time in that pre-pounce period to, to reflect, make sure you know what you need to shift and not run away from it in like a party situation and just ignore it. We want this three of cups to be your triumph over this five of wands situation so that yes, you can move on mentally, you're gonna be moving on emotionally, you're gonna be moving on from maybe some sort of financial difficulty, um, but you know, you kinda gotta, you gotta regroup. That's what we are feeling from all of these energies here. Um, but very positive, and there could be a very, very positive, positive new, a partnership coming in for you, business partnership, there could be a big new client you might land with this, with this energy. Um, you could start to see uh, a lot of surprises because, of course, Hierophant is Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus right now. So there could be some surprising developments um, with all of a sudden, like lots of new clients, sales, that type of thing coming in for you, especially with these energies over here, Leo. So I think there can be an absolute, very positive change around for you. Please get yourself organized. Please reflect and then take action on how you can shift out of that five of wands energy and make a new passionate commitment to what really matters to you. You got this, you got this, all right? Leo, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. I love you guys. Take care, have a great month and I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.